The construction of the most expensive oil field to an insane airport expansion and from a massive nuclear power plant to the most advanced high-speed rail, here are some of the biggest mega projects on the planet. Welcome back to Mr. Million. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more interesting videos. We start with number five, Tel Aviv's light rail. This is Israel's largest public transportation project with a staggering cost of $20 billion. It consists of three main rail lines, the red, green, and purple lines, which span a combined length of 90 kilometers. These lines will accommodate a total of 228 million passengers each year. And the first line is just days away from transporting its first passengers. The Tel Aviv metropolitan area has needed a mega project of this scale for decades. Currently getting from point A to point B in Tel Aviv involves taking slow buses, calling an Uber, or walking. The city's growing population has resulted in increasingly congested traffic. As a result, Israel has been considering a rail-based mass transit system since the 1960s. Political instability and financing issues, however, repeatedly hindered progress. Finally, after 60 years, Israel is now working on implementing this mass transit system. While most cities opt for entirely underground systems, Tel Aviv has chosen a hybrid approach that combines both underground and above-ground sections. The first section, known as the Red Line, spans 24 kilometers and runs between Peta Tikva and Bat Yam. Half of this line operates underground, consisting of 10 underground stations. The Red Line represents the initial step in a comprehensive plan to revolutionize transportation in Tel Aviv. Over the next five years, the purple and green lines will also be integrated into the system. Let's shift our focus from underground rail tracks to a mega project that will transform air travel in one of the world's busiest cities, the Dubai Airport expansion, our number four pick. With an estimated cost of $33 billion, this project aims to address the growing number of travelers flocking to Dubai, which has become a global metropolis and the Middle East's business hub. Currently, Dubai has two major airports, the International Airport and the Al Maktoum International Airport, the latter of which handles approximately 1.5 million passengers annually. However, the Al Maktoum Airport is undergoing a massive expansion that will solidify its position as the world's largest airport in terms of physical size and passenger volume. To give you a sense of the scale of this project, in its busiest year to date, 2019, the airport served around 1.6 million passengers. Once all three expansion phases are complete, its capacity will increase 150-fold. This will surpass the capacity of not only Dubai's other airport, but also any other airport worldwide. The construction of the Al Maktoum Airport expansion is divided into three phases. It involves the addition of four new runways, two terminals, four lobbies, and a cargo facility capable of handling 16 million tons of freight annually. Additionally, a 40-kilometer road and metro network will be constructed to enhance accessibility. By the completion of Phase 1, the airport's annual passenger capacity is projected to reach 130 million, with some reports suggesting a completion date of 2030. However, given the current lack of progress, the mid-2030S seems more realistic. Phase 3, expected to conclude around 2050, will increase the airport's capacity to 255 million passengers, more than double that of Atlanta Airport, currently the world's largest. Building such an extensive airport in Dubai serves multiple purposes. First, it addresses the rapid growth of Dubai as a mega city, as the projected number of travelers would surpass Dubai International Airport's capacity. Secondly, it enables Dubai to maintain its status as the Middle East's business center, especially considering Saudi Arabia's ongoing transformation and its plans to develop the King Salman International Airport in Riyadh, which could potentially surpass Dubai's current main airport in terms of size. Therefore, the Al Maktoum expansion is crucial for Dubai to retain its status and stay ahead of its rivals. Number three, plant Vogtel Reactor 3 and 4, costing $35 billion. This is the construction site of a nuclear mega project that has been in progress for 14 years. The project involves adding two additional nuclear reactors at the plant Vogtel facility in Georgia. Unit 3 started operating in July of this year, and once the fourth reactor is completed, they will generate a total of 2,200 additional megawatts of electricity, enough to power approximately 500,000 households. The history of this project begins much earlier. 
Initially, Plant Vogelty had two existing reactors that began operating in 1987 and 1989. These two reactors, with a capacity of 2,450 megawatts, were the only ones at the facility for many years. However, it became clear that coal and gas power plants were not sustainable in the long term. Furthermore, wind and solar energy presented challenges such as reliability and storage. Nuclear power plants have the potential to provide clean and reliable energy to millions of people when implemented correctly. Therefore, in 2009, the state of Georgia decided to upgrade the plant Voctel facility in order to shift nearly 3 million consumers to a source of energy with significantly lower CO2 emissions. Initially, the project was expected to be operational by 2017 and cost $14 billion. However, construction was delayed even before it was scheduled to begin in 2012 due to safety protocols and licensing delays following the nuclear accident at Japan's Fukushima reactor in the previous year. Construction eventually started in 2013, and innovative designs were employed to expedite the process. However, this plan had the opposite effect and resulted in even more licensing delays. By 2015, the expansion was officially three years behind schedule, and the budget had been adjusted to $22 billion. The project was further impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic, with shortened worker schedules causing additional delays. Finally, in mid-2022, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission approved plans to load fuel into Reactor 3. However, significant flaws were discovered, requiring the rewiring of the reactor. After seven years of delays and a 250% cost increase, Georgia Power finally began operating Unit 3 last month. Reactor 4 is expected to be fully functional by early 2024. Despite the history of challenges, state officials and stakeholders view this expansion as a major victory due to its ability to deliver clean electricity for the next 60, 80 years. In contrast, our next mega project is a massive oil field development, which may be the last of its kind. Number two, the Kashagan oil field, at a cost of $50 billion. Oil remains one of the most sought after commodities globally, leading to substantial investments by states and private companies in the search for new oil fields. In 2000, an exploration program in the Caspian Sea resulted in the discovery of one of the world's largest oil reserves, the Kashagan oil field. Located 80 kilometers off the coast of Kazakhstan, it holds 13 billion barrels of recoverable oil, which is enough to power the entire world for five months. Initially estimated to cost $10 billion, the Kashagan development proved to be highly challenging. The oil lies 4.5 kilometers below the surface of the Caspian Sea, where temperatures frequently drop below minus 20 degrees Celsius for months, resulting in the formation of a several meter thick layer of ice. These extreme weather conditions and the presence of ice rendered conventional offshore drilling technologies unusable. To address this issue, five artificial islands were built to provide a stable base for drilling and prevent direct contact with the ice. Despite the difficulties, more than 5,000 workers persisted in freezing temperatures to assemble the necessary pipelines on these islands. These pipelines will transport the crude oil from the wells to onshore processing plants. After a decade of construction and with costs already surpassing four times the original budget, the Kashagan oil field was finally ready to produce oil in September 2013. However, it faced a major setback just weeks later when the main pipeline couldn't handle the massive pressure and developed a leak. This forced a halt in the project and further increased the costs. This incident was not unique, as delays and cost overruns are common in large-scale oil projects. According to Chevron's estimate, only 8% of oil megaprojects between 2007 and 2010 were completed on time and within budget. Despite the main pipeline incident, construction continued at Kashagan and commercial production commenced three years later. The field currently produces 400,000 barrels of oil per day. The Kashagan oil field proved to be a complex and costly project. As the world seeks to reduce its dependence on fossil fuels, such large-scale oil megaprojects may never be repeated. Now, let's move on to our top-ranked megaproject, the Choshinkansen. Number one, the Choshinkansen, with a cost of approximately $1.80, 100 billion. For our last mega project, we head to Japan. 
a country famous for its architecture, traditions, crafts, and efficiency. Nearly 32 million tourists visit the land of the rising sun every year, and many of these travelers are particularly fascinated by one Japanese creation, the Shinkansen, also known as the bullet train. This piece of infrastructure speaks volumes about Japanese efficiency. The Shinkansen trains are incredibly fast, reaching speeds of up to 320 kilometers per hour and have operated for six decades with very few delays or accidents. Now, Japan is working on an extension of the Shinkansen, which will push technological and speed barriers even further. The new line will connect Tokyo and Osaka in just 67 minutes, with trains traveling at top speeds of over 500 kilometers per hour. To achieve these remarkable speeds, Japan is employing maglev trains that float just above the tracks using magnets. The construction of the Chuo Shinkansen began in 2014 and will be completed in two phases. Phase 1, a 344-kilometer stretch, will connect Tokyo with Nagoya by 2027. Phase 2 will extend the line from Nagoya to Osaka with a projected completion date in 2037. Meeting this ambitious schedule will be a challenge for Japan. Do you know of other mega projects that we should cover in a future video? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Drop a like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos.